25 years ago, what looked routine for America's space program turned to instant tragedy. In a clear blue sky, Shuttle Challenger disintegrated over the Atlantic. Challenger, go and throttle up. Challenger, go and throttle up. A chain reaction disaster started when an O-ring on the right solid rocket booster failed in the frigid Florida temperatures 73 seconds after liftoff. Bob Moon and Dick Uliano were at Kennedy Space Center reporting for AP Radio. Uh, we, we do have a problem, Bob. It looks, it looks as if one of the solid, it may have lost a solid rocket booster. We have a report from the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. Seven astronauts died, including Krista McAuliffe. She was the first teacher in space. That night, President Ronald Reagan spoke to the nation. We will never forget them, nor the last time we saw them this morning, as they prepared for their journey and waved goodbye and slipped the surly bonds of Earth to touch the face of God. A presidential commission grounded the program, and management reconsidered the gung-ho launch culture, what had failed was the communication process where people at a lower level thought there was a problem, but that did not get to the higher level. So communication is the key thing that changed. Challenger's legacy is still debated today. Americans learned that space travel was risky. NASA learned quickly that a launch was anything but routine. Upgrades to shuttle hardware improved safety. Missions focused on building the space station and trained astronauts were in on decisions to launch. Despite program success, new missions disappeared in budget cuts. Today, after 132 shuttle flights, only three missions remain. It's going to be a very, very sad day uh, when we have that last mission, the last landing. Um, I, think the, I think the mood of the team will be mission complete, and we'll move on to the next thing. Ironically, the legacy of Challenger may be that tragedy produced results making space travel safer for those who followed. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.